Hey guys, it's Carter. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day today. And guys, I've been getting comments after DMs, after questions of people saying, Carter, I have $100 or $200 can I swing trade? So in today's video, we are going to be talking about that and answering that main question as well as some tips and tricks and an awesome strategy that you guys can use. So I hope you guys all enjoy it. If you have any questions, ask down below. And if you want to learn how to find stocks with opportunity for your swing trades and awesome strategies, mindset, it's, it's absolutely fantastic. I have an amazing school where I teach people how to trade and I know it sounds super scammy. I get it. But guys, it's different. We have a private group chat. We have private live streams. We have quizzes, lectures. It's awesome. And for the first five people, you guys can get 50% off. So guys, check it out down below. I'll put it there. Swing Trading Masterclass. But guys, let's jump into this here. So swing trading with a small amount of money. This is a super common question I get asked, you know, because I've been trading or swing trading for over six years. So people constantly ask and they say, Carter, I have $100, can I trade, can I trade? And the thing is, is if you're already thinking that, maybe you're just getting started. The biggest thing guys is learn as much as you can and paper trade. I would rather see you guys paper trade for six months to a year, then slowly start introducing cash and capital into your account because the reason why this is so important is because just starting out swing trading is not easy you're gonna have to learn strategies and, and emotions and all that stuff so when when you swing trade it's a great way to build strategies to work on risk management and all that stuff and then I would highly recommend slowly start introducing cash and capital into your account. But the biggest thing with trading is I want to show you guys something that I think a lot of people don't even really pay attention to. And this is actually a thing that I've been working on in our course here. So the great thing about this here is I want to show you guys if you have $100 in your account, right? And you're getting a weekly return of 2 which 2% a week, honestly, over the course of a year is a decent amount of money. But the issue that I see is people that are just starting out, they don't have very, very realistic returns when it comes with trading. They think every trade they make is going to be a 300% win when the reality of it is one, two, three, four percent profits. If you can do that every week, you're already doing an amazing job trading. So look at this here. So if you have a hundred dollars and you're getting a weekly return, that should be your goal of about two percent. That's only $2 a week or $104 a year. So you need to have a very, very realistic approach when it comes with trading. And, and the thing is, is even if you take that yearly profit, you know, and that's just say now it's 204. Now your, your, your weekly profit is now $4. So if you're just starting out, like I was saying, I would rather see you guys save money and maybe get to $1,000 or $2,500. Now your weekly return rate of, of 2% is about 50 bucks a week. That's a huge difference. So the second you actually have a little more money, yes, it is gonna be a little higher on the emotion tied to it but you guys can see your yearly profit is 2600 bucks you know that that's absolutely fantastic then the next year if that just say now you you have 5000 boom now your weekly profit's 100 bucks so what i'm trying to get at is if you're just starting out trading and you have $100 yes you're doing an amazing job and i'm super proud of you for taking that first step but still it's going to be an emotional roller coaster cuz you're going to be expecting a lot higher returns than what you're getting. So I wanted to bring that up. We're act. This is all in beta right now for the course. I'm actually probably going to put this in uh, maybe later today or tomorrow. Uh, I do think this tool and calculator is super important just to make it a little more realistic so you can plug in some of your returns um, that you're looking for for your goals and your starting balance here. But I do want to show you guys a great strategy that I've, that I've been working on. And this is kind of like my bread and butter trades. And this is uh, what we call a moving average bounce. So with trading or swing trading, you know, whether you have $100 or you have $1,000 in your account here, the only thing that's separating you once you're profitable is your share size. So just starting out, you know, just focus on those base sets. And this is a clear example of a 
really solid base hit we hit. So ABSI has had this great upward trend where the stock has gone from $1.11 to almost seven bucks a share. Recently sold off down to this blue line. Now, the reason why understanding technical analysis, moving average lines, and all that stuff is super important is because this 90 day moving average line has heavy support. We established it in the past, and how I knew that is because it has old resistance. Old resistance has tendencies of acting as new support. So that's kind of what we saw. Another reason why I had a lot of, you know, a lot of, uh, you know, great. Uh, motions or really, really great confidence, I should say, with the stock is because it has heavy support in general right on this line. If you look at this line, ever since it broke above it, we've seen a lot of taps here, getting a lot of buying pressure there. So understanding that now when it hits that moving average line, you have two supports there, which is just a higher indication for future um, future growth here out of it. So we hopped in near and around this 450 mark and we set our stop loss just below that line. We always put it anywhere from you know about two to three percent behind, but the biggest thing is just understanding risk management. So with this, we're risking one dollar to make five dollars and twenty-two cents, which is an absolute fantastic trade. But if you look at it, the stock did not squeeze up that much. It actually sold off a little bit today, and that is fine. And the reality of it is, is yes, the stock did go up a great amount, and we were in a relatively great risk and reward. You know, the thing here is not every trade is gonna be like this, where we're up 17%. Most trades are, you're up three, 4%, and you just take your profit. You know, looking at a trade that we actually just took a small position on is Target. Target here is heavy support right on that 90. We're looking for a little buying pressure from 158 to this trend line of 163. So it may only be, you know, let's, let's see how much it is. It may only be, you know, in this circumstance, a three four percent return but three four percent if we plug that into our calculator you know it's a lot higher of of a return so guys this is a super super easy example of how to trade how to use trend lines how to use moving average lines for your trades but to answer that question of can you swing trade with a hundred dollars Yes, you can swing trade with a single dollar. But the thing is, is if you're looking to make full-time income from it, that's where I see the bigger issues because most people that are starting to trade think it's easy and that this is gonna replace their income. But the the hard reality of it is is they are going to um, not, they're, they're not, that's not gonna replace any income. And so, you know, if you're expecting these great returns, you're gonna hold positions longer, which is gonna just blow up that 100 bucks. So guys, I highly recommend going on, checking out my school where you guys can learn strategies and mindsets and strategies like this and how to use scanners to find stocks with opportunities. So check that out. I'll put it down below, but guys, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and we'll see you guys tomorrow in the next one. Take care, everyone.